following presentation of the NBA. And this place is rocking after the starting lineups were announced. An incredible playoff atmosphere. Opening tip in just a moment. And already a 2-0 lead established in this series. It's the Western Conference Finals on 2K Sports. Moments away, it'll be the New Orleans Pelicans going up against the L.A. Clippers right here in Los Angeles. With Grant Hill and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce is our reporter. A look at the starting group for the Pelicans. Ingram and Zion, your small and power forwards. C.J. McCollum is out there with Gabe Vincent. And it's Hunter in at the five, roaming the paint. And for the Clippers, taking a look at Los Angeles, starting to feel like a must-win game for them. It really is. I mean, it's not been a ton yet. A win here, and they're right back in this series with game four being played in front of their home fans. Here's Vincent. Pass to McCollum. Here's Williamson, and he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. I love that shot from Zion. Force the defense out of the paint. Make them guard you outside. Here's Havlicek. Clock at six. Inside. Creative oh, and finding foul. ways to draw Ladies fouls. Leonard takes first, pleasure first in foul. getting them to overcompensate. At the line for your Clippers, Kawhi Leonard for a free throw. And he drops the first. And Leonard drops them both. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the... Defense and then cash in at the line. McCullum outside. Pass to Vincent. Three-pointer off the mark. Now Los Angeles with it. Here's Paul. McCullum with a steal. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to go on Kawhi Leonard. Certainly goes to the line a lot. A spot where Williamson would like to become more efficient. That's good from Williamson. Williamson hits them both. And just about a minute into this first quarter. Knocked loose. Brand passes to Leonard. Here's Havlicek. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. High offensive IQ. He makes great reads and adjustments on the fly. Hunter passes to Ingram. Counted from distance. The key for Brandon is shooting with confidence. When he does this, he buries these trades. Puts it up from 12. And the jumper is on the mark. Havlicek's gotten his second bucket. Now you want to get him going as soon as possible. Great way for him to start this game. And we know once he gets in the rhythm, he's a really tough guy to stop. Leonard. And the Clippers again with the bucket. When Kawhi gets to his spot in the mid-range, he is automatic. One of the best in the game. Pass to Ingram. Hunter with the ball. Second chance shot. And another shot. And the layup is good by Williamson. Williamson's got six. And this is right in his wheelhouse. Hitting the boards and cashing in. When he gets a few of those early, look out. It gets his butt pumping, and suddenly there's nobody who can hold him. They have really found a rhythm here early. Four for five to start this game. Drops in the three. He's got six. With a look that good, Ingram is so consistent. Defense, you have to keep a closer eye on him. And Paul gets it to go. Even if they saw the step back coming, the defense didn't offer much resistance. Ingram, pass to Williamson. Ooh, he's looking comfortable now. Three for three. That's about as tough as a finish you'll see. But when you're up against someone as strong as Zion, contact doesn't phase him. Now here's Paul. Havlicek passes to McAdoo. Got a hand on it. 
And he's able to get it back. Just five to shoot. Pass to Williamson. And Havlicek pulls it down. It's one thing to prevent the layup. It's another to do it without fouling. Just terrific defense. And Paul gets it to go. He's one of the best in the business, Chris Paul. A phenomenal ball handler. Vincent passes it to McCollum. And the Pelicans hit again from deep. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Griffin, he's checked in for the Clippers. Harper comes in for Paul. The top scorers in the playoffs on our 2K leaderboard. There's a minute 54 left in the first. Harper passes to Leonard. Here's Havlicek. It's good. And the assist that time from Leonard. Havlicek's got six. Nice vision from Kawhi Leonard scanning the floor and finding a ready shooter to feed. Here's Williamson. And the whistle on the shot. Got some contact there. Misses the shot, but he'll shoot two. And the foul goes against the Clippers. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Pelicans. Well, in my opinion, the way the three has been falling for them here early on, you have to think they'll keep firing away. And from the jump, they've also clearly been focused on running effective plays here tonight. And there's been a lot of high-quality distribution from them on the floor. As usual, he's right there to save the play. Nice timing on the tip end. Knocks down the triple. He has six. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Here's Harper. Oh, it's blocked by Williamson. Get used to seeing blocks like that from Zion. Man, he's sending that one back. One sign of a great playmaker hitting his man in stride. Here he goes. Havlicek. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Second team foul. At the line for your clips. John Havlicek. The first one falls. He's perfect from the line this time. And you'd like to go two for one here, Grant. And at the same time, you want to get a good shot here, B.A. Here's Hunter. That's good. And it's McCullum with the assist. Hunter's got his second basket on the night. He drops yet another dime. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Pass to Griffin. Over Williamson. Here's McAdoo. Five to shoot. Here's Havlicek. Ooh, pops the J after a cagey pass fake. Havlicek's got 10 points in the game. Ooh, he's piping hot. Four for four from the field. No one can guard him out there. Launches it from deep. Oh, it would have counted had it fallen, but it is offline. Zion Williamson has been on display for the New Orleans Pelicans. Hunting for opportunities, leading to nine points in the quarter. Back to the game after this break. This stadium is rocking right now as we return to the Western Conference Finals. And looking at what we've seen from the Pelicans, what do you think, guys? Well, it seems like they went in looking to do damage from long range, and they faced little resistance. Reason why excellent spacing. They may not stay this hot all game, but hard to bet against them. The Clippers trail. Paul with it. He's picked up by Williamson. And Griffin slams it in. Passing skills on another level. Chris Paul beats his shooters. And for the Pelicans, the Duke connection alive and strong with Ingram and Zion at the three and the four. Michael Carter Williams is out there with Herb Jones. And it's Hunter in at the five down low. The gates the tight defense with the fadeaway. Slick move and a nice touch on the shot. Paul's shot is off. 
Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. This is the shot you want to get him. An open look from range. McAdoo, pass to Paul. The shot from 20 feet out, and that's good for two. Paul's got six. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. And the foul on Chris Paul. That's his first foul of the game. Mitchell Robinson, he's checked in for New Orleans. Sharp comes in for Brandon Ingram. It's Sharp on the wing. Tries it from 19, and he gets it to go. And the Pelicans lead by six. You like the extra pass. MCW using his height to see over the defense, and he finds the open band. Damn, that one's good. 12 points for him. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Carter Williams, the pass to Hunter. Count the bucket, coming off a perfectly placed pass. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist timeout, timeout. and a turnover. Time called here. The Clippers decide to talk it over. <laughs> and we'd all love to hear what goes on in those huddles, but we just get the snapshots. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. What a shot. What's here for you, Kid Clippers? And here in the second, two minutes gone by. Has to have a check. Here's Griffin. To the right side. Here's Brand. Connects from downtown. Brand's gotten himself going here. His first point to the game on the deep ball. Carter Williams, the pass to Jones. And another three for New Orleans. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Hey, when in doubt, run the defender off the screen. And you know, with a result like that, we'll see them run it again. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. Jones with some nice D. Offensively, that's how you want to end the possession, except for the result. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Pelicans will retain possession here. The Clippers making a switch here. Your Clippers, Corey McKinney. Now for those joining us now, we're in the second quarter, about three minutes gone by. Hard to win games when you allow clean looks from the perimeter. Here's Havlicek, defended by Jones. Havlicek's shot is off. And it didn't register as an official block, but he did everything you want in disrupting that shot. You know what he did? He timed it well and did a good job of contesting without committing the foul. Can you say immediate entry into the highlight reel? Woo, what a dunk, B.A. <laughs> it's showtime now, man. They've built up a lead, and they're starting to rub it in. Now here's Hunter. They lead by the biggest margin of the game at nine. Carter Williams, the pass to Sharp. Jones from outside. Hits a three-pointer. Jones has got 11 points in the quarter. This has been a tremendous quarter for him. Everything he puts up now looks like it's going in. Oh, nice shot by Havlicek. Efficient performance from him. Not the case for everyone else on his team. Carter Williams, the pass to Jones. Three-pointer Sharp. Here's Robinson. And a big finish by Robinson. And B.A., he takes his rebounding so seriously. This dude is such a grinder. His teammates appreciate the effort. Just goes all out on the glass. You know, this is one of his specialties, keeping plays alive, creating second-chance opportunities. The Clippers making a switch here. Harper's checked in. And so here are the Clippers, down by 12. Tremendous defensive effort, saving a bucket right there. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. Griffin, it's tipped. Pass to Hunter. He takes it in. Count it. Hunter's got eight points. Nice pass. You love how sharp anticipates situations. Here's Paul. It's deflected. Outside Hunter. 
Nice spin off the left rim and in. Hunter's got six points in the quarter. Adding to this lead, he's been dependable and consistent at the offensive end. I mean, he's staying aggressive, trying to regain his touch, but right now, he's hurting the team. That's three buckets in a row off assist. Pass to Harper. Here's Brand. Robinson defending. A shot to stop the run. It's hauled in by Robinson. Robinson's got four rebounds now. Here's Carter Williams. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. This is what you want to see out of Michael Carter Williams. Taking it inside and mixing it up. He misses the free throw. And the Clippers making a change here. And the second free throw is good. Paul looking over the floor. There's the triple. No good. Misses at the buzzer. And this is what Carter Williams can give you defensively. A true ball hawk with excellent anticipation and reflex. And so it's the New Orleans Pelicans out in front by 19 going into the break. And their three-point shooting, a big reason they have a sizable lead. More 2K action in just a moment. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. The NBA playoffs are happening, and we're happy to have you here for the halftime show. Well, for the Pelicans, we're only two and a half games into this series, but it's already looking like they've booked their place in the next round. Up two games to none with a huge lead tonight. They are in the driver's seat. And uh, Kenny... What did you see out there from the Pelicans? It all starts with their shooting. And they're on fire from behind the home. And I can say the opposite when it comes to the other side. When there's this much disparity in three-point shooting, it usually makes a big difference on the score. And over to Shaq. Now your take on the Clippers. They're getting abused in the paint defense. That's their opponents set the tone. You can't match up physically, you're toast. That's what the scoreboard is reflecting right now. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. And welcome back to our coverage of Game 3 on 2K Sports. And for the Clippers, they're shooting the ball at 48% so far. And Paul gets it to go. Paul's got eight. That is all the space Paul needs down there. Great work in close. And for the Pelicans, we've got Mitchell Robinson. Karis LeVert is out there with Michael Carter-Williams. Then it's Brandon Ingram. And it's Hunter in at the five spot. And this is what you want to do when you've got a big lead. You must stay aggressive. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They came in focused, and they've executed. And it's amazing. Their slim advantage on the board seems a lot larger than it is. Probably a play they drew up in the locker room at half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. There's the help with Levert. Havlicek passes to McAdoo. Leonard on the wing. Gets the three ball to go. He has seven. The three-point numbers for Kawhi Leonard, they show this man is elite from deep. It's stolen by Leonard. Pass to Paul. It's stolen by Hunter. Down low. Outside for Ingram. Carter Williams, the pass to Ingram. The ball's knocked loose. And he banks in the layup. Robinson. Robinson's got his second basket. It's not easy to work the ball inside in this league, but they've done it all night. Smart move by Chris Paul, shooting right into the defender to win a trip to the line. First two. At the line for LA, Chris Paul. That's good from Paul. Williamson's checked in for Robinson. Paul hits them both. 
And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Carter Williams, the pass to Hunter. Pelicans keep it alive. And here's Ingram outside. The shot off that time. The shooter thought he had enough space, but the defender was right on him. The ability to close out on perimeter shooters is so important in today's game. Ingram, the pass to Williamson. And here's Levert for three. That's good. And it's Williamson with the assist. Three pointer. Levert's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Here's Paul. And that basket makes him 5 for 10. Steady production so far. Strong performance from him. But he may need to do even more if they're going to win this game. The shot by Ingram, no good. And so Paul will bring it up for the L.A. Clippers. It's a 16-point game. With the explosive leaping ability, he's able to play center despite being undersized. Levert passes to Williamson. The fader. Count it. Zion Williamson's got 13 now. Defensively, you have to account for Zion at all times. You know he's looking to score. Here's Brand, covered by Williamson. Third quarter of basketball here. A little under three and a half minutes gone by. Hunter passes to Ingram, and he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. A high-usage guy. Ingram always takes a lot of high-percentage shots. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. Los Angeles has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. And down it goes. Two points. McAdoo's got four points in the quarter. That's the pass you want. Orchestrating the offense, creating for others. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. This is what you get with MCW. A savvy player with a deep bag of tricks. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for New Orleans. They've been lights out from three-point land in this one. The defense hasn't been effective at stopping them. So they have just stuck with the game plan. Well, in addition, I love their passing. I mean, they're buying into that team concept. That's hard to get out of your young guys. And here's Levert for three. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. McAdoo's got his fifth rebound in this one. Oh, it's blocked by Williamson. It's Levert on the wing. Paul with a steal. And out of bounds. New Orleans will have it. And let's take a look at who's been lights out from beyond the arc in this year's playoffs. Number one, Joe Harris. Karis LeVert, fourth. These guys have delivered from beyond the arc in a big way here in the postseason. Stepping up and embracing the spotlight. Here's Hunter. Puts the fadeaway right on the money. Hunter's got 18. For Los Angeles, they've gotten six of ten shots to fall in this third quarter. Pass to Griffin. Leonard on the wing. Yes! And it's Paul with the assist that time. Paul's got six assists here tonight. And of course, we've seen Kawhi hit some huge shots from the corners throughout his career. They get the rebound. Hunter, he's got another one. That's 10 for 15 now. Like a matador. Ole! There was no defense. That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. And that one drops for him. LeVert's got five points now this quarter. Great ball movement by B.I. Spots a wide open teammate and feeds him. Paul shoots on the baseline. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. That's his third personal foul. Second team foul. The line from LA, Blake Griffin. First free throw is good. You know, when healthy, Blake Griffin is still a force. He's an athletic, multifaceted big man. And he makes both free throws. Five ticks left to play in the third quarter of basketball. Williamson for three. Oh, and he just the knocked the down the buzzer beater. What a huge shot 56. to beat the buzzer. My goodness. He had to rush that one a little, but terrific stroke from range. And as we conclude the third, pretty much a blowout here. It's been a one-sided affair. Pelicans ahead, just dominating this one. 
And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling here on 2K Sports. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. Now, I know he's a big man, but he's got some point guard in him if he's making passes like this. Let me tell you, when you can run offense through your bigs, you give the defense just another thing it has to try and take away. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. And here's Ingram outside. And another three for New Orleans. That's a tough shot motion to contest. Ingram brings the ball back above his head and has a high release point. And for the Pelicans, Ingram and Zion, your small and power forwards. Michael Carter-Williams is out there with Karis LeVert. And it's Hunter in at the center position. And he knocks down the first one. And we've seen some good free throw shooting in the second half. And so he hits both. On offense, here are the Pelicans. Carter Williams, the pass to Levert. And another three for New Orleans. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Here's Houston. Nails the wide open jumper. Houston's got four points this quarter. His team is down because he's not shooting enough. There's no reason he shouldn't be getting more looks right now. Ooh, took him no time at all to get that one. 12 straight points off threes. This defense is not extending very well. Maggetti, the pass to McAdoo. Rebounded by New Orleans. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. That's going to go back the other direction, but they played a pretty clean game. Not many giveaways, and the score reflects that. The Pelicans making a switch here. Robinson's checked in. in for the Pelicans. Mitchell Robinson. Substitution on the court. Los Angeles has got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. To the inside. And there's the slam! Dunk to finish it off. A lost art in this game. Terrific bounce pass. Yeah, I think he's letting his emotions get the better of him on that pass. First personal foul. First team foul. Substitution for the players. Bob McAdoo. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. Pass to Robinson. Williamson against Leonard. Oh, Leonard with the block. Great effort by Kawhi. One of the best to ever do it. Here's Robinson. Williamson passes to Carter Williams. That's good, and it's Williamson with the assist. And from the mid-range area, they've been the more effective team. Here's Harper. Connects on the foul line jumper. Working in that mid-range area, the analytics may not love it, but that's a good look for him. Stripped it away. In transition, here they come. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. So it's going to be on Brandon Ingram. Second team foul. The first free throw is good. Ron Harper. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. New Orleans has gone three for three from downtown in this fourth quarter. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Zion Williamson. That's his first foul of the game. A great job to establish position and square up. The Clippers have gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. Here's Havlicek. Shoots over Robinson, and the bucket counts, and he is on his way to the line to try to make it a three-point play. Mitchell Robinson, first personal foul, third team foul. At the line for one. And if you're just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Carter Williams, the pass to Levert. Ooh, he can't stop the run as that misses. Here's McAdoo. Robinson defending. They get it back. Out to Leonard. Sinks it from distance. Leonard's got 12 points here in the second half. He's been so aggressive on offense. And with the results, you understand why. You know why? Success breeds confidence. And he's certainly been successful from there time and time again. And denied. 
He sends it right off the glass. Levert passes to Ingram. Here's Robinson and a good offensive board, and he gets the bucket. And the Pelicans lead by 21. Here's Harper and misses it off the right side of the rim. Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a decent matchup. Pass to Levert. Pelicans foul. Karis Levert. First personal foul. Third team foul. Coming onto the floor for your Clippers, Elton Brand. Two minutes remaining in the game. Here's Havlicek. He's checked by Levert. Driving to the basket. Harper misses. A tremendous defensive effort. Saving a bucket right there. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to be on Karis LeVert. Well, that was clearly a foul. First one falls for him. Ron Harper. Good on both. 136 left in the fourth quarter. The steal. And the call will be against Brandon Ingram. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect. So we'll head to the line for two. And the first one at the line is good. And that's good as he hits both shots. A minute and a half left in the fourth quarter. They played well. And let's see if they can keep it going into game four. An important one for the Pelicans. Well, Grant, I don't know if there was one deciding factor in this game, but I'd say shooting accuracy if I had to choose. Agreed, B.A. They really went after quality looks and shot the ball with confidence. And with this win, a trip to the finals is within their grasp. Just one win away from the sweep. And they'll be looking to make it four straight, no doubt about it. That's how you want to go into the finals. Well-rested, playing your best basketball of the season, and riding a ton of momentum. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for the baddest one. I'll tell you, his shot blocking made a big impact. Whether it was on the ball or rotating over to help, he provided the intimidation factor this defense needed. Griffin passes to Harper. To the left wing, McGinney. Oh, and another three for the Clippers! Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Carter Williams, the pass to Williamson. Over Leonard. The bank shot, no good. Pass to McGetty. Here's Griffin. And Griffin slams it in. I saw that one in Griffin's eyes. He was ready to throw that one down. Williamson misses. <laughs> And so New Orleans takes this one by a large margin. And now that they're up 3-0, winning this whole series is well within their grasp. You think it's only a matter of time, but the postseason is all about expecting the unexpected. They need to stay focused and finish strong. That concludes this broadcast of the Western Conference Finals. For Steve Smith, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you later.